So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna call on some people that have never gone in this environment before because I feel that pressure creates diamonds. So Sasha, you're gonna be the first to go today. <laughs> Uh, to be honest with you, I was hoping I could maybe observe because I just I've never done this before. Is there any can I like maybe like watch a few people and see how this goes the first time? No, we're gonna push uh, it. <laughs> All right, so here's what's gonna happen is John. I've, I've never I don't really know how to do it, but I'll yeah, I'm do my best. All right, man. Just I all I want you to do is uh just be yourself, book for the appointment. And if you've never seen it, it's cool. We're not gonna grade you too heavily, but this is gonna be you just stepping up and saying, you know what, I'll figure it out as we go, and then we'll help you learn the mechanics of it. So we're going to dive right into it, okay? Okay, let me what, pull it what, up. One second. What's going to happen is that John's going to be Zillow connecting you with me, who is a consumer looking for a property in Oakland, and you're going to run through booking the appointment with me. Uh, by, okay, hold on one second. What, sorry, what are you pulling up, Sasha? Uh, the, I, should, I should have the buyer's uh, contract, uh, buyer's like form in front of me, or? No. Not oh, we're just like going through. Okay, uh, it's not a. It's not the presentation. A A L M appointment. Um, what is it? What appointment location motivation? That's it. You just do A L M. You because you've came to this meeting before, right? You were here. No, last this time. is my first, very, very first time. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, then uh, let's. I just want to hear how you sound. So let's just run through it, man, and then we'll teach you the particulars. So I love okay. that you're nervous. You should be nervous. In this well, you just tell me how to go, and I'll just do the best I can. I, I don't really just know. Try to set an appointment. Where, just say, hey, hey, want to show to property. Just try to send an appointment. All you got to do is try to send an appointment. It's a hot lead. They want to okay. see a property. You got to book the appointment with someone. Them. Literally, it. so you're so you're out, you're getting connected with that someone that was scrolling through Zillow, saw a house they're interested in, clicked a little button because they want to go see it, and then you're going to be on the other end of the phone. Okay, All here right. we go. Ring, ring. Let's run it back. Sasha, go. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Sasha Steinberg with EXP Realty. How come, what's, what's going on? Hey, Sasha, this is John from Zillow. I have Elias on the line. He'd like to see 123 Main Street in Oakland. Can I connect you? Absolutely. Here you go. Ding. Hello, hello. Hey, what's going on, Elias? How you doing? This Hi, is uh, Sasha this? Steinberg with uh, Team Fast EXP Realty. Hi. Uh, so I, I, I hear that you're interested in a, in a property. Um, could you tell me a little bit about more about what you're looking for and, and uh, what, what are your, you know, what exactly, what area and what kind of price range maybe? Oh, no, I'm calling about that house. The one, two, three. Okay, okay specifically that. Okay, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> um, so what, I don't know, what would be like don't, the- Listen, man, don't break character. Run through this, right? You have a live opportunity with the client, book, a, book the appointment. You don't have to know the exact presentation. Just no book this appointment. Okay, so I was hoping I could maybe touch base with you. We could go over, uh, you know, the the, uh, the the numbers on the how and the place, and and I could show you, um, you know, t tell you a little bit more information on it. Um, actually, I just wanted to see the property. Okay, perfect. Well, yeah, maybe we could set up a time to 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 touch base, and and I could show you around and and see if it's something that uh, you want to pursue further. Uh, I do want to. I, I want to see the property. Okay. Uh, do you have a Do you have a, a good time in the near future? In the next week or so, we could uh, set up a time to meet. Uh, no, I'd like to see it today. Today. Oh, perfect. Yeah. What would be What would work best for you? Um, I could see it between five and eight tonight. Awesome. I could uh, meet you there at five. Okay. Uh, great. I'll 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 see you then. <laughs> or right. or do you, maybe what would I already have their contact information? I, I would assume, or I don't know. Yeah. What happens now? You're you're asking me? Yeah. I don't I honestly don't know. Okay. All right. You're doing a good do? job, Sasha. I've good literally job. never done this before. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's cool, man. That's why we do this, man. Trust me, there's a method behind our madness here. Okay. So if you were just talking to me and you booked me for the appointment, how are you gonna end that conversation, bro? And this is not knowing a script. This is just you being a natural communicator and here's the thing, like, okay, I think we're done with the call. We're breaking an appointment. You, <laughs> you put yourself out there as a realtor. Your friend's mom could call you right now and say like, I heard you're a real estate agent. There's a house around the corner for me that I wanted to go check out. Like, can we go take a look? Like you would know what to do in that situation. You know what I mean? Like you would, you would set the appointment. So it, it's like, uh, we, we try to like shake things up and knock people off their block on these, on these calls because in real life as an agent, you're going to get caught off guard. You're going to be in situations where you're nervous. 
So we do it in these calls because it, it's going to come up, uh, you know, especially when you're working online leads. But yeah, no, I, I totally get that. And it's just yeah, take so think about that. it like that. I mean, you could have the same approach. Somebody that, you know, you, your good friend just found out their coworker is looking for a house and they gave him your number and that person's calling you because they're uh, they want to go see that house. Right. So, okay. I got you. Um, you know. So what would be the, the natural next? I mean, I guess yeah, I would, I would say let's meet at five and then. Well, you don't know if the property is available to go see at five. Oh, I see. So I would have to check to, to make sure that's that. Okay. Got, okay. Let me you, look you, in to see if that's up. Yeah. time you, you get, will work and I'll follow get, up. With you. The, the so, point of the very first call is to get just enough information, like at a bare minimum, if you have a chance to build rapport, if you have a chance to learn a little bit more about the search, then yeah, do that on the first call. But the point of this very first initial contact really is just to get enough information for you to be able to go schedule that appointment. So if you want to, if you know roughly what time they want to see it um, and what they want to see, then you can follow up with them. And typically too, when he gave you a range, so five to eight, like you need to now go schedule that appointment. It's good to get like a backup time too, because if you go try to book that appointment, everything's booked from five to eight. Now you have to call back and say, okay when's another good time so if he says five okay. to eight i would say like okay cool i'll shoot for that but if something during that window is not available do you have time tomorrow then that gotcha. way okay. you go that makes you sense. five to eight booked but tomorrow at five o'clock is available you know that works for him you can call him back and say hey great news you know today was was all all full but i was able to get us in for five o'clock tomorrow then you can talk to him a little bit more but the first thing you're doing with these zillow calls is just trying to set the appointment Got so it. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. So, my so bad. I think, uh, just... like, like, that. like somebody, you know, told their friend, you're an agent, that friend happens to want to go see a house and they're calling you. Like, I see. Okay. So it's much more specific. I got it. It's, okay. it's very assumptive too, Sasha. So you're like, Oh, well, maybe do you want to go see it? Maybe sometime in the next week? No, they want to see it. Let's go see okay. it because that house is not going to last longer than a week I on see. the stock okay. market. Right. That makes Let's sense. Do this. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to somebody that's been doing this, that is on flex now that we can hear that. And then maybe towards the end of the call, we'll come back to you one more time. Okay, so that sounds Melody, sounds good. Melody, yeah, good right. job, man, and good. Thank, you know, thanks for stepping up. Like we, you know, we totally. definitely push people on these calls. Uh, yeah. And you know, you, a couple of people that we we've pushed a lot on these calls are on the flex team now. So you know, it, it, it's it's just it's just part of the process. Well, yeah, that's cool. I thank, totally understand. You, you know, just job, really, yeah, just take practice. Because I'm here to learn, because, that's why. So <laughs> listen, man, pressure creates diamonds, and there'll be a little bit of pressure in these environments. But I promise you that something great is going to come out of it. So let's head over to Melody. Melody's going to run through this one time for all of us. So um, Johnny Boy on three, three, two, one, let's roll. All right, Melody, ring, ring. I'm sorry, am I supposed to be the agent or that wasn't clear? Yeah, we're going to have you go through the presentation. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, I apologize. Go ahead, Sorry, Josh. she hasn't eaten solid food in 24 hours because you guys are crazy, so. <laughs> Hi, this is Melody with EXP Realty. I'm a Zillow, Zillow Premier partner. How can I help? Hi, Melody. This is Alex from Zillow. I have Elias on the line. He'd like to see 123 Main Street. Can I connect you? Sure, absolutely. Here you go. Ding. Hello. Hi, is this Elias? This is. Hi. Hi, Hi Elias. This is Melody with EXP Realty. I'm a Zillow Premier partner. Hi. See... Hi, how are you? I'm well. I would like to see uh, when you would like to make an appointment to see 123 Main Street. Um, I was hoping today, um, I'm actually gonna get off a little bit early and, and probably like sometime right after 4.30. Okay, absolutely. Sometime after 4.30, I hear you. You wanna see it today? Great. Here's what I'm gonna do. Hang tight for me, Elias. I'm gonna make a call out to the sellers. I'm gonna see that it, we can see it today after 4.30. Right. And then I'm going to circle back to you in a couple of minutes and let you know if that we can go see it. And um, I also want to show you a couple other properties that I know of if in the same neighborhood with the same amenities and the same floor plan. Is that okay? Um, sure, I guess. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and book those appointments for us too. And I'll circle back with you in a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. And then really quick question for you, Mel. Um, Mel, right? Yeah, absolutely. All my friends call me Mel. Okay, so so Mel, um, is is that house in Maxwell Park going to be super competitive? Because I'm just hearing all kinds of stories from from my friends and people and the news that I'm reading. Is it going to be super competitive? Yeah, you know what, Elias, that's a really good question. I hear that a lot from buyers that are getting into this market, and you know what? I'll be honest with you. 
it is a little bit of a crazy market out there right now. Um, I'm sure you've heard all different types of stories from people that are, you know, buying or selling houses that are your friends or family. And so what I'd like to do is I'd really love to get on a Zoom call together so that I can really educate you on the market. I'm just curious, what have you been hearing about the market out there right now? Oh, I just heard that it's competitive in, in, in that area of, of uh, Maxwell Park. So do you think that this house is going to be competitive? Yeah, you know, there's definitely going to be a lot of eyes on that area. It's a popular area in the neighborhood. But if you're working with the right realtor and you're able to strategically set up your offer in the right way to be competitive, then it really shouldn't be a problem. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so what's next? So I'll just circle back with you in a couple of minutes and then we'll go ahead and try to book those appointments. Okay. Hang tight. I'll call you in a couple of minutes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. So good stuff, Mel. And obviously uh, I put Mel on the spot. I could tell she was a little bit nervous. She's not generally nervous in this environment, but I did put her on the spot. Um, so I, I, I think Sasha, what you can hear is that there's uh, obviously an assumption, right? That we're just leading to the appointment, right? I think you don't need to go into the Zoom right then. I think it's a little too early, but for the most part that what we're trying to do is, is get them to the appointment first and foremost, right? The, the more people you meet, then the higher probability you are of, of converting for you know, a potential buyer. So we wanna get you in front of as many people as you possibly can. So the appointment was a first, location is Maxwell Park. The motivation, a lot of that will come on the second call when you're following up with appointment time, peds and everything that they need to do to go see the property. So um, really good stuff, Mel. Obviously she's been doing this for a while. She's practiced the script. So let's go to somebody that is relatively still new as well, that is still learning the process, but let's go to Raymond. Raymond, you're up next, brother. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Good. All right, Johnny boy, let's do it. Three, two, one. All right, Raymond, ring, ring. Hello, this is Raymond. Hey, Raymond, this is John from Zillow. I have Elias online. He'd like to see 123 Main Street in Oakland. Can I connect you? Awesome. Please connect me. Here you go. Ding. Hello. Hey, is this Elias? This is. Hey, what's going on, Elias? This is Raymond. I'm a local agent in the area. I noticed that you were interested in 123 Main Street. How's it going? Uh, it's good. Awesome. Awesome. Sweet. So is 123 Main Street the only home that you're looking at right now, or are you looking at other homes in the area as well? Uh... Yeah, I, I called about 123 Main Street. Okay, perfect. So then what I'd love to do is I'd love to see if we can't book an appointment. I'd love to grab some times that maybe you're available today or maybe tomorrow or any other time this week. Yeah, um, no, today would be good. Okay, cool. What times are you available today? Um, after five. After five? All right, sweet. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reach out to the listing agent and see if we can't get an appointment today after five. If we can, then I'd definitely love to see that. What I'd also like to do though, Elias, is maybe grab a little bit of more information from you. So that way I know you a little bit more and know exactly what you're looking for. So that way when we go out to go look at 123 Main Street, if there are any other homes that maybe match the same criteria that you're looking for, maybe we can put those on the list too. So that way we knock out a few birds with one stone. How does that sound? Um, now let's just stick to this one. Okay, cool. Perfect. Even better. Sweet. So like I said, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and book that appointment for us, or at least make sure that I can. I'm going to go reach out to the other agent, see if there is any available today, uh, availability today after five. If there isn't, are you available tomorrow at all? Yeah, same, same after, uh, after 5.30 tomorrow. Okay, cool. What do you do for work, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I'm a, a coach. You're a coach? Awesome. Yeah. I love coaches. <laughs> okay, cool. Sweet. So then, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do my part. I'm going to reach out and see if we can't book that appointment. It, again, if today doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and try and book that for tomorrow. Hold on, sorry, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a face. Sorry, get another call, you know, busy, busy. Um, but sweet. So let me go ahead and do that, Elias. But before I get off the phone right now, I definitely want to grab your contact information. I know Zillow's going to go ahead and send that over. You know, working with Zillow is great. Being a premier partner is awesome. But let me get your phone number and your email just in case I need to reach out and I get the wrong okay. information. All okay. All right, so yeah, Elias at fastagents.com, five things over. Okay, cool. Perfect, perfect, sweet. Let me get that down then. And then, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and reach out, see if I can't book that appointment for today. If not, then we'll go ahead and do it tomorrow if that works. And then as soon as I do that, I'll give you a call right back. Are you going to be available in a few minutes? I am. Sweet, sweet. So then let me work on that, and I'll give you a call back. Okay, sounds good. Awesome. Cool, awesome. Sorry, we'll cut there. Have you, um, have you done this before, Raymond? 
No, I was kind of nervous. Okay, it's okay. So, so I, I could tell, but that's why we do this. So yeah. one thing I want you to focus on, man, is that this, right? Uh, okay. If you nice. ever listen yeah. to Roxanne make a phone call, it is like you can feel her smile through the phone call, right? Yeah. Hi, good morning. How are you? It's different sounding than, hi, good morning. How are you? Good. No, sweet. I'm having a wonderful morning, right? I'm having a wonderful morning. How are you? Right? Yeah. There's this, th something happens when our body smiles. So when you started out the conversation, you said, I noticed that you wanted to see, you didn't, that, that implies like you're calling them, they're calling you, yeah. right? So, okay. so, so it's, uh, I understand that you want to see one, two, three, one, two, three main street. Wonderful. Are you available to see it today or tomorrow? What works best for you? Right. And then you continue on. You said listing agent, what we want to implore everyone to do and encourage everyone to do is remove that from their vernacular and replace okay. with, let me check with, um, set, excuse me, seller availability. After that, you said the word maybe three times. Well, maybe we can do this. Well, maybe we can see some other homes. Like this is about an experience with Raymond Rosales, right? Here's what we're going to do. I know in Maxwell Park, there's three other homes that are a three, two that fit that same criteria. Why don't you carve out about an extra hour while you're here so we can go and see those other homes as well while you're in the area, make the best use of your time. What I didn't ask is, is that going to be okay? Maybe we can see a few other homes while you're here. No, this is part of the process. Yeah. You want to spend a million dollars in Maxwell Park, you're going to be in this area. Gosh darn it, I know this area really well. I know three other homes that fit that same exact criteria. Okay. Um, when you asked me what I did for a coach, for for a living it sounded so like like canned right what do you do for a living oh i'm a coach oh cool sweet i love coaches well anyways and then you you okay. breeze right past it right yeah. what do who do i coach what do i coach what do i do like so don't ask a question unless it's a, a question of it. substance right yeah. like people feel that shit if you say oh what do you do i'm a coach Sweet. I love coaches. Anyway, so let me check with the, right? It was like, I, I needed more color from you. Yeah, more color. Sure. If you're going to ask me that question and you're, and you're interested, then make me feel like you're truly interested in who I am, right? Yeah. It cut off there. So, I mean, overall, man, I think that you have skill and you're going to do really good at this. This is why we do this. We have Walter on the line today. Walter's our top converter uh, with Zillow Flex since we launched this program. So, Walter, I want to kind of get your insight on 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 Raymond's call, maybe some polishing points of things that you would have done differently. Yeah, please. yeah, no. Overall, Raymond, that was pretty good. Um, I try to keep it short on that first call. I try to go ninety seconds to about a uh, two minutes on the first one. Just strict to the stick to the playbook, ALM, and then I ask for the survey as the last thing. And then I um, I don't even get into like, do you have other time or all that. The where I try to go in is on call number two. I try to murder him on number two. How are you, Raymond? So Raymond, check it out. You're looking for an area with good schools. I'd recommend the Tri-Valley. Danville, Pleasanton, San Ramon, Dublin all have great school ratings. So it sounds like you uh, work in tech. Who do you work for? I work for Apple. Oh, great. I got a buddy that works for Apple. That sounds great. I know tech is really booming right now. I see, I don't know, I think shit up. Or if it's true, but like, hey, I see Tesla stock went up really well. Great. Awesome. Are you married, Raymond? Yeah, I'm married. What does your wife do? My wife's a nurse. Awesome. My wife's a nurse. She works for Kaiser Vallejo and uh, she puts people to sleep for a living or whatever my wife does. Cool. Now I'm creating a picture, right? Raymond yeah. is in tech. He, his wife is a nurse. He wants schools. So now I know you. So you wanted to see that crib in Danville, but now I'm thinking Dublin, Pleasanton, San Ramon, other areas. So I guess at the end of the day, Raymond, that was good. But I just try to murder him on number two. Like, when you think of real estate, you think of Walter Daniel and Team Fast. So I just, I mean, uh, I love the shit out of you on number two, where you're <laughs> like, I got to consider this cat. So then yeah. I'm going to hit you with the real scout afterwards. I'm going to hit you with the high note afterwards. I'm a text follow up. I'm going to hit you with a partner. I'm a, maybe if I think you're a good candidate for me to partner with somebody else, and maybe you speak Spanish, I'm going to tell you, I got another agent named Laura. She speaks Spanish. So I just try to love the shit out of you where you're like, I have to buy a piece of real estate for Walter Dean. All right. So close on number two. So number one, you're saying just keep it short, sweet. Just book that appointment. One is a point. AL is most of the number one appointment location, uh, right? Obviously you want to, you know, not go too fast. Try to keep it, uh, you know, under two minutes, but not go too fast. Yeah. But you can ask all the right questions that you need. I want this to be an experience. Just like Walter said, this is an experience with Walter Daniel. 
right? When they call you, it's not just, oh, I'm going to open the door for you. No, so glad that you landed with me. I'm going to value, value, value upon value because you're in the right place with Raymond and, and Team Fast. Johnny Boy, takeaways from that or uh, polishing points. Yeah, and I mean, that was that was pretty thorough. I think you got it all, all covered pretty, pretty well. Um, it's good to hear from Walter too. Uh, and also Raymond sounds so much like Alex from Zillow. Is anyone, does anyone? Yeah, dude, weird. <laughs> huh? You sound exactly like the recorded voice from Zillow. Uh, yeah. Side note, but yeah, Elias was pretty thorough on that. We could like prank call people. Raymond could prank call people and tell them they're Alex <laughs> from Zillow and try to connect them. Uh, All right, so, no, so Johnson no. wanted to step up. So, so Johnson, you're next, right? Sweet, thanks. Uh, uh, yeah, I got you, let's do it. Oh, okay. So, okay. Daniel or Johnson, or oh, sorry, was it Daniel Johnson or Johnson Law that wanted to step up? Daniel, oh, that was Daniel Johnson, but I'm down to do either way. All right, he wants cool. to hey, yeah. All right, Daniel, are you ready? I'm ready. How's my service? Am I good? I, I'm in the mountains. I'm parking right now. I'm driving home. It's good, man. And I appreciate the intestinal fortitude to step up. So let's run through it. Johnny Bond, three, two, one, let's roll. All right, Daniel, ring, ring. Hi, this is Daniel. Daniel, this is John from Zella. I have Elias on the line. He'd like to see 123 Main Street in Oakland. Can I connect you? Awesome. Yes, I'm through. All right, here you go. Ding. Hello. Hi, Hello? Elias. This is Daniel with EXP Realty. You're... Hi, is this Elias? Yeah, this is. Hi. Hello. Hi, can you hey, hear Daniel, me? I, Hi, Elias. I think this you're... is Daniel with EXP Realty. Yeah, Your Daniel, is it's just tripping a little bit. We'll come yeah. back to you if we if we can. Uh, we'll come back to you. Let's go but, to Johnson. Let's go to Johnson. All right, you got Johnson, it. Johnson, you ready? Uh, yeah. All right, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, this is John Wazilla. I have Elias online. He'd like to see 123 Main Street in Oakland. Can I connect you? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here you go. Ding. Hello, hello. Hi, is this Elias? This is. Hi, my name is Johnson. I'm a Zillow Premier Partner here with EXP Realty. How are you doing today? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for asking. Um, I see you're interested in 123 Main Street. What would be a good day and time available for you to check it out? Um, I was hoping today. Today? Okay, what time today? Um, if there's any availability after 4 o'clock today, I have a window from 4 to 7. 4 to 7? Okay, that's a pretty good window, actually. Uh, let me go ahead and contact the seller and see if I can get that uh, booking for you, okay? Okay, for sure. Okay, for sure. So um, I'll go ahead and contact them right now after this phone call and I'll call you back in 30 minutes. Okay, and then Johnson, really quick, man, I just wanted to know in your expert opinion, do you think that this house is going to be very competitive? Uh, you know, that's a really good question, Elias. Um, what I can do for you is let me go ahead and do a little more research for you and I'll get you that information. I'll get that to you tomorrow at our appointment, okay? Okay. Because it, it really depends on the house and we'll yeah. have to see it in person. So yeah. Okay, cool. So, so I guess just kind of get a little bit more information once we're there. Yeah, so I'll do the information for you tonight, and then I'll get it for you tomorrow at our appointment. Okay, cool. And then, all right, so what's next? I'm sorry, I was overthinking. Oh, yeah. So uh, right now, I'm just going to, after this phone call, I'm going to go ahead and contact the seller, and then I'll call you back in 30 minutes to confirm our appointment. Okay, cool, man. Sounds really good. All right, Elias, you know, th uh, thanks for calling. I'll call you back in 30 minutes. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. Bye. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, textbook, really, really good job, Johnson. What I'm going to say is that that intro, it was one of the strongest intros that I've heard this morning. Um, just really smooth. And something about your tone makes me feel comfortable, right? We talk about tonality all the time, man. You have a really, really good flow and really good cadence with your uh, tone. Um, I love how you asked for the appointment right away. The research question, I didn't feel that you kicked it down the, the road because you didn't have an answer. You said, you know what, let me do a little bit more research. I'm going to gather as much data as I can, and I'm going to um, answer that tomorrow for you at our meeting. Really, really like that. Only thing that I would have really, really buttoned up on was your how you ended the conversation. Everything was strong up to the point, and that way you ended the conversation just could have been a little bit stronger. But man, okay. I thought that was a really good job for your first time ever going in this environment, man. I thought that was really, really good. So um walter let's hear from you again man I, I i love that you're here so let's hear from your insight on that call no that's a good job johnson um anytime just a little thing kind of what i do when i'm stuck or try to end it i always say what i'm going to do for you like let's lend in the phone call with the service i'm going to provide for you so johnson i understand you want to see one two three main street what i'm going to do now is contact the sellers and see if it's available 
and I'll definitely get back to you. And then I kind of asked them, I heard this from somebody else. I asked them if they want a phone call, a text or an email. So now we're communicating on their preferred mode of, you know, their, where they want to talk. Cause some people don't want to call. Some people are at work. Yep. Some people are having arguments with their wives as they're talking about houses. So however they want to receive the information, that's try, that's what I try to do. But no, that was awesome, man. That was, first time that was dope. Yeah. Really, really good job. And Mel does that too. She asked for like their preferred style of communication and she, she focuses on that heavily. So Johnny boy, takeaways from that call. Yeah, that was solid. I, I like seeing these calls that are when they're from first calls from people that have been paying attention a little bit and had the chance to see other people go and review the playbook a little bit. Um, Cause it's cool to see like the, the training that's come before kind of work the magic in the first call. So good job. Uh, clearly you've kind of been studying how this worked. I think all the other advice was great. And like Walter said, like ending the call with a follow-up is always really strong because that leaves them confident when they get off the phone with you that they know what the next steps are. So just keeping that in mind when it comes to the ending, but overall, great job, man. Yeah, really, really good job. Let's go to two more. I know John, you have training in just a moment here, but uh, PK, I wanted to hear from you. You want to go? Let's do this. All right, cool. So um, let's go ahead and connect with John. I know you have to hop off, but um, just connect and then we'll I'll see you at the training. All right, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, this is John from Zillow. I have Elias on the line. He'd like to see 123 Main Street in Oakland. Can I connect you? Absolutely. Thank you. Here you go. Ding. Hello. Hi, Elias. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. This is PK. I'm a premier Zillow agent, and uh, I understand that you want to take a look at 123 Palm Street. I do. Yep. Wonderful. When would you like to see it? Um, today, uh, after four, if possible. After four, yes. It seems like you're going to be ending work day and meeting up for uh, a house tour. That sounds great to me. Elias, uh, here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to give the sellers a call and make sure that they're home, uh, they're not home, and that we can go ahead and take a look at the property this afternoon. Do you have a window of, uh, you know, time tomorrow in case we can't go and uh, take a look at it today? Um, same time tomorrow. Okay, wonderful. Um, let me go ahead and do that for you. And uh, what is the preferred method of communicating? Do you want me to send you a confirmation via text or give you a call? Text is cool. And then um, uh, PK, I had a question. Uh, I'm oh, hearing yeah. all kinds of stories about, you know, 20% over, 30% over in Maxwell Park. I don't think we can go, you know, that high significantly over. Do you mm -hmm. think it's going to mm -hmm. be competitive for this home? Uh, Maxwell Park is definitely one of the uh, more competitive areas in Oakland. Um, however, I don't think it's impossible, Elias. Uh, let's definitely talk at the property. I do want to take a look at the house and uh, put, uh, you know, just my experience in general, uh, given the condition of the house into uh, together to give you that answer. Yep. Uh, but to give you a general idea, uh, com competition is all across the Bay Area, but Maxwell Park is definitely one of the most uh, competitive ones. But I got you. Don't worry. Um, if there is a house that you like, we're going to move forward, put your best foot forward, and I'm going to represent you really strongly. So um, I got your back. Um, I'll also bring some data for you so you can take a look at the range of comps in the neighborhood as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm so excited to meet you. Uh, will anyone else be joining you tomorrow at the tour? Um, or today, yeah, actually. My fiance, Jen, will be uh, joining. Jen. All right, wonderful. So Elias, once I send you a confirmation, I'm just going to ask for her contact information as well. First name, last name, email uh, to get the P docs uh, uh, out of the way. Uh, but the next step here is really short. I'll just get back to you quickly to confirm the, uh, the time of our meeting. Okay. All right, Elias, looking forward to it. Have a great day. Cool. Love it. All right. Good Bye. job, PK. I uh, thought that was a really good job. I think your intro is really strong. Your tone is really good. I felt like you own the spot of I'm, you're my realtor. Right. So it's like I got you and, and own that. But we're not talking about the peed on the first call. Right. It's too much. And because you said, oh, I'm going to send over the peed doc. I don't even know what the peed is. I know. Right? The peed doc is for the second call. I'm like, hey, guys, who else is coming? Jen's coming with you. Perfect. Here's what we need to do. It's a, you know, Corona advisors making sure that you haven't been exposed to COVID and you're going to adhere to social distancing. I'm going to send that via DocuSign yes. right now. But I mean, overall, you, you have this way of making people feel comfortable. I think you got a little lost on your words on the market part of it, right? 
you could have cut it off really short, but good stuff. I love it. It is competitive. I'm going to gather more data. Once I see the house, I'll be able to give you a further analysis once I see you in person tomorrow. Stop there. Right. So you went on a little mm -hmm. too far, but I think that was really, really good. Um, and I think that you're a natural. Obviously, you've worked the phones. Sometimes on these calls, less is more. Yes. Yep. Um, so Melody, let's hear from you. I know Kenny and John aren't here anymore. So, uh, so what was your advice and polishing points on that call? Yeah, obviously, you know, PK, you've had a lot of experience on the phone. You can obviously hear it in the way that you carry yourself and your tonality and everything. I mean, I wouldn't change a thing about any of that. I love it. Um, the only thing that I would change or try to work on is just to try to shorten up the side talk. Um, Walter's really good at getting straight to the point with things. And it's, he's someone that I really like admire as far as how he just gets straight to the heart. And then the mm -hmm. second time around, he will go and like make them fall in love with them. So like I, it's hard because you want to let your personality shine, obviously on the first call, but that's not what the call's about. It's not about you. It's not about like any of that. It's about the script. And even I obviously have some trouble because Elias is so intense sometimes. I never know what he's going to say, but like I get thrown off sometimes, right? So it's hard to stay on script every single time and be perfect every single time. But for the most part, if you have the flow down, just book the appointment. That's it. Like I wouldn't even, if I was to do it again, I would probably critique myself and say like, don't even offer to show them other homes. Just mm -hmm. book the appointment. Um, you know, and it's, it's a little bit off putting, I think when the market question comes up, because you don't know if you should address it, or if you should skim over it. So it's kind of like, that's it. That's kind of a touch and go for me. That's where I get hung up on sometimes. Luckily, in real life situations. Um, Johnson, you're hella funny, by the way, with your comment in the chat in real life situations, like that does happen. So every time it comes out, it comes out a little bit differently, but just kind of st stick to the script, book the appointment, talk about the peed on the second call. Don't ask who's coming with them. And then, you know, just kind of be fast. So, 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 so we can't dance around the, the, the market question because that's a question that's going to be answered. But what we can do is we can hear them and empathize with them and reconfirm what they just said. You know what, PK? Sounds like you've been doing your homework and you have a really good understanding of what's happening in our local market. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some research for you. I'm gonna see the house tomorrow. Once I'm there, I'll be able to provide a little bit more insight and detail for you. Tomorrow, I'll see you then. We'll talk more about that, right? In regards to the question about, um, um, what was it? The PED, one other thing that, um, oh, seeing other homes. That's part of the script, you guys. Part of the script is, hey, while you're here out in this area, why don't you carve out an extra hour? That way we can see one, two, three Main Street, one, two, four, one, two, five Main Street. It's part of you creating this value for them and this experience, not just seeing one property, one and done. Mm -hmm. You're so lucky to be with the local expert that knows about three other houses that fit that same exact criteria. You're going to hook them up while they're here. You're going to hook them up. Walter, how about for you takeaways from that? No, that was really solid. I can, I can tell uh, you definitely work on phones and you I love like oh I got your back you know and then oh, yeah. hit him with a little bit of um data about Maxwell Park because you got to think guys what the follow-on action is especially if someone is uh in a relationship and they're making this decision with somebody else so I'm gonna get off this phone and I'm gonna go talk, talk to my wife and I'm like Joanne we found a realtor PK she's dope boom sold right like Okay, sounds good. You found somebody. I can go cook dinner or do the hell else I'm doing, right? So you are really solid. And like Elias said and Mel said, just the peed part because they don't even know what that is. Like, I know. Just that off I on keep the doing that. No, but, but, but you're good though. You're good you're though. Good. Talk you're about really that on good. number two. Yeah, you're oh, solid. Yeah. Like really good. Everybody's what happens, good. What happens, PK, as humans is that sometimes when we get nervous, we fill the void with what? More words, mm -hmm. right? We fill it with more words because we think that that's going to help us throughout that process. But brevity is key, especially on that first call. Brevity is key and simplicity, right? Simplicity is the key to duplication in this environment. Yeah. Simple as you keep it, they understand you, they're connected with you, cool. I got you, I'm going to call you right back. Okay, cool, awesome. Then you call back and then you go more into the motivation and the peed and the value, value, value. So let's do one more person. Lynn said she wants to go. She says she wants to get this out of the way. So, um, Melody, can you help me out a little bit and be Zillow and connect me to Lynn? Yeah, sure. Let me know when you're ready, girl. I'm ready. 
Ring, ring, ring. This is Len with AXP Realty. Hi, this is Alex. I'll be connecting you now. Thank you. Hello. Hi, um, this is Lin Chiu with EXP Realty. I'm a Zillow Premier Partner. May I know your name? Uh, it's Elias. Hi, Elias. I understand that you would like to pull 123 Main Street in Oakland. Yes. What are some of the good time slots for you in the next couple of days? Um, uh, today or tomorrow after 4 o'clock, I have a window between 4 and 8 p.m. 4 and 8 p.m. Okay, let me check on the seller availability and I'll call you back in 30 minutes to confirm. Okay. Does it sound Perfect. good? Mm -hmm. And then I was okay. curious, Lynn, um, you know, we've been looking and, and seeing news articles and stuff. Is that particular area of the Laurel in Oakland, is, is that really going to be competitive? That's a great question. So it seems like you know what's going on with the market. Um, you know, it's a little bit too early to tell right now. So let me do some digging and I'll be able to give you some data and insight when I see you in person. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay, cool. So what's next? I'm sorry. I forgot. So I will check um, with the seller and see if the time works for them today for between four and eight and I'll call you back. Or would awesome. you prefer to be text? Um, you know, a, a call is fine for me. Yeah, that way I can talk to you. All right, I'll call you back in 30 minutes. Thank you. All right, cool, Lynn, thank you. Thanks. So Lynn, based, like I see your face. Hey, that was really, really good. Like that, that was a really, really good call. Like for your first time, and I appreciate you stepping up. So like, I always want to get this out of the way. Lynn, that was a <laughs> solid, solid conversation. The way that you answered the market question didn't feel like you were kicking the can down the road. It felt like you addressed it, but it's a little too soon for me to know without having some information on the area, the house, seeing the home, the particulars. So let me do my research and then I'm gonna get back to you. So you're kind of setting the stage of the things that you're going to do for them. Really, really good job. But what I would add is, is seeing a couple other homes uh, while they're out in the area, making the best use of their time. But um, overall, Lynn, I thought that was spot on. Uh, Walter, what, what were some of your uh, takeaways from that call? Yeah, I agree. That was that was solid. I, I love that. Um, you just got to the point, get the appointment, and let's roll on, and we'll talk about all the other shit later. So that was really good. And then um, for the market research thing, what I try to do is use uh, what is that thing, Mel and Elias? City data or whatever that zero to one hundred thing. Um, oh yeah, it's um, uh, Altos. Altos. So Altos is a thing that you guys will find and. So when I see them in person or on that second phone call, I'll say, listen, Lynn, uh, Dublin is very hot. Uh, we use this system called Altos. Uh, it's definitely a sales market. It's a nine out of a hundred and the average price per square foot is 533 or whatever the hell it is. So I kind of save my data a little bit, keep it in my back pocket. So I have some shit to talk about when I see them in person or on the second call. But overall, that was awesome. So would it be better to ask them about more uh, looking at more properties the second call or no you want to plant the seed so so the okay. idea is that while you're here i want to make the best use of your time probably about an extra hour because i want to be able to show you three other homes or two other homes that fit that same exact criteria and it's like i'm not asking right you are doing this for them you are the area expert you know that there's a couple other homes so making the best use of their time versus do you want to go see them most people well i don't know or you know, they can answer no to that question. So throwing it out there and making it part of your presentation. But Lynn, overall, good job. Um, we're going to go full circle right now, you guys. Before we head out, we're going to go back to Sasha. Sasha, you've heard it enough times. Give you a little bit of primer now. Um, are, are you ready this time around? Yeah, I'm ready to rock. Let's do it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Mel, can you be my Alex pretty please? Yes. Are you ready? All right, let's roll. Three, two, one. Ring, ring, ring. That's you, Sasha. Oh, okay. Hey, this is Sasha. I'm... Sasha, how's it, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Just pick up the phone and say hello, bro. Okay, hello. Hi, this uh, is Alex. I'll be connecting you now. That'd be great. Send them through. Hello. Hey, is this Elias? This is. Hey, good morning, Elias. My name is Sasha. I'm a Zillow Premier uh, agent in the area. I just wanted to touch base with you regarding 123 Main Street in Oakland. Uh, okay. What would be a good time for you to see the property? Um, I can see it today after five o'clock. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, so what I'm gonna do is check with the seller availability to make sure that time will work. And then I'll follow up with you in the next couple minutes and uh, confirm our appointment. 
Um, is there another time that might work for you in case that time uh, you requested isn't available? Um, you know, what? I think tomorrow at the same time would be available. Uh, I'd be available. But let me ask you a quick question, Sasha. Um, is that area of the diamond, the upper diamond in in, in Oakland, is that going to be super competitive, man? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, let me do some digging on that. Um, and I can um, give you some more insight on that when, when we meet tomorrow. Would that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Or I'm sorry, meet today, <laughs> later today, hopefully. Um, yeah. Okay, and, and you and is and you said tomorrow would be good if, if today doesn't work. I'll mark that down. All right, cool. So it's been a pleasure speaking with you, Elias, and I will follow up with you uh, in the next next couple of minutes. Okay, cool, man. Thank you. That's why we practice, right? First time around, he was fumbling, didn't know what to do, right? And kind of just, you know, he, he made his way to the end. But after hearing it and then reapplying himself, bro, I think that you did 100% better on the second call. So really, really good job. But when you open up the conversation with, I wanted to touch base, you saying I want to touch base implies that you're calling them, right? I wanted to touch base oh, with yeah. you about your inquiry on 123 Main Street. No, they're calling you. They've sat down at your table. Here we are bringing them some food, right? So it's, hey, I understand that you want to see 123 Main Street. Perfect. Do you want to see that today or tomorrow? What works best for you? So you did a really, really good job towards the end. You got a little nervous and your and your words got a little choppy, but then you got back on the train and you ended it strong. So my man, as long as you practice this, I promise you, you will feel more confident, right? The reason why we do this in this environment is A, pressure creates diamonds. B, the more you practice, the more confident that you're gonna feel. The more confident that you feel, clients are gonna feel that energy from you. Damn, Sasha knows his shit. He knows the market, he understands, he handled every single question, he didn't break, his voice didn't break, he had this posture, this tone, this confidence in the way he spoke. We like you, Sasha, we think that you are the person to help us with the largest purchase of our life. When you ask for the appointment or when different times or the market question, you said, uh, four times. In a matter of 17 seconds, you said, uh, four times. If I'm asking you about the market and you're like, uh, well, you know, it's, um, it's, it's kind of competitive. And um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm, I'm going to, what do you hear? You hear that this dude doesn't know his shit, right? So it's clear, concise answers. You know, that's a really good question, Sasha. It's a little early to tell. Let me do this. Let me do some research. Let me do my digging. And then when I meet you tomorrow, I'm going to give you full intel on what's going on with this particular property in that area. Right? So it's right, clear, that totally makes sense. Yeah. Concise, right? Yeah. And it's on point. So, so be cognizant of the words that you use, the tone and your flow, because this is all about cadence, right? The flow of this conversation should be like, okay, cool. I got it. Good. Cool. I'm, I'm going to call you right back. Awesome. Right. When I get on my second call, I'm still keeping that ca same cadence, that same flow. And there's a sense of energy and you've set the tone by, by doing a really good presentation. So man, hats off to you for stepping back up, complete 360 or a complete 180, man. Walter, take away some of that call. Oh, no, that was good, Sasha. Um, yeah, I, I would say the us, like, just cut that out, but you're cool. So kind of what I did when I knew I was going to be on the Zillow team really quick, a little trip. I started listening to, like, play-by-play -play announcers for, like, basketball, football, and baseball. And you guys, y'all that watch football, like, when Joe Buck does a football game, like, you can be in another room if y'all are watch sports. Like, it, the shit is so clear. He's like, Prescott, back to throw, looks left, throws over, touchdown cowboys like so i really studied like people who are good speakers like ministers play-by-play -play announcers baseball announcers to work on my clarity and work on like what's going on because basically you have to think like you're in a, a tunnel and you're telling this person about real estate so you're giving a play-by-play -play about real estate you're describing real estate it's like uh what's the dude like tony romo on cbs like he's great like he's describing everything going on in the field so i kind of put myself in that perspective of kind of like I am the dude, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. And um, like Elias said, uh, being brief always works, like boom to the point, doom. And then you can, that second call, you can sit there and get your thoughts together and even write out some points that you wanna to talk to the person about. But That's overall, that was good, man. Y'all are good. Are yeah, really good. I, I highly recommend for everyone on this call to purchase the book, The Exceptional Presenter. That book is a game changer on how you present, how you, um, you know, your tone, your, the words that you use and the voice inflection. It is a game changing book and I am all about making sure I have all kinds of stuff on deck 
to provide thoughts and ideas when I'm on calls with you guys. So highly recommend that you guys get the exceptional presenter. Awesome. Um, Mel, let's bring it full circle. What were your takeaways from that call? So I'm curious to ask Sasha a question. How did you feel after Elias put you on the spot on the first call versus at the end after listening to all of us go? Did you feel? Well, yeah, I mean, to be honest, like I really had no idea what to say or how to how to go about it. So I was a little caught off guard. Um, but yeah, after the after I got to see some people go and kind of get see the rhythm, you know, I, I picked up on kind of, you know, what to, what to say, so to speak. Yeah, and you know what? I got to be honest, you should be lucky. Like, if Elias puts you on a spot like that at the beginning of a call, it is a good thing because you are going to be ready on your toes and ready to kill it on the next call. I bet you you're never going to let that happen to you again. And it's awesome when that happens because I don't know how the quote goes, Elias. Help me out here. Iron sharpens iron or <laughs> knives sharpen knives. <laughs> Some shit like that. You get it, Sasha. We're sharpening each other on this call and we have your back. So if you'd like, you know, you're just going to get better and better and you'll get the flow as you continue coming on these calls. I don't know if this was your very first call ever being here, but good job. Good job sticking through it. Good job toughing it out. You're going to do great if you just continue being, you know, in these environments. And so don't be hard on yourself. I think you did great. Yeah, right. On. I appreciate that. Like, I just think it's like you guys say, it's just going to take practice just to kind of understand the flow and the rhythm of it. But, uh, but yeah, I think, I think I'll get there. Hopefully it's like, I'm putting you guys all out on the field and it's like, Hey, some of you might not know the playbook yet, but it's like, Hey, just get open. Right. Cause I'm going to throw you the ball. Right. And you'll figure it out. Right. And then as we go back and watch tape, like we're doing now, like, all right, see what you did right there. If you would have cut at the 10 yard line, then you would have been in a better place to, to get to the ball. But I'm glad that you ran out on the field and ran your ass off and tried to burn him. But now let's work on your mechanics, right? That's why we do these workshops, man. It's working on the mechanics and fine tuning the thing. So when you walk out of this onto Zillow Flex, you're like, damn, I got my armor, right? I'm ready. I've been through this. I've been through the objections. I know how to do the presentation. I know how to have a flow. My tone is in check. My words are in check. There's no surprises, right? I'm fucking ready. That's what we want for you guys because Walter came, Melody came. They have been in this environment that you guys are on right now and now are receiving the calls and now are producing results from the calls that they have taken. So you guys, there's a method behind the madness. That's why we do this. Repetition is the mother of all skill. We're going to continue to push you and push you and push you because we've seen the greatness that's came out of it. So I want to thank our guest speakers today, Walter and Melody, for being on today. We appreciate you guys' insight. Thank you for helping out and stepping up. Thank you for everyone that went today. We're going to continue this next week. Um, and, you know, make this an opportunity to look in the mirror, be like, okay, cool. I'm going to take this with a grain of salt and I'm going to continue to improve my craft. That's why we come together. This is about you guys learning from the collective. So great job, you guys. Get out there and crush it. And I will see you guys at training if you're going to be at training. But have a wonderful, wonderful day, you guys. Thank you.